For several years now, NASA has been promoting their return to the moon with their most famous mascot, Snoopy. Snoopy has been in space as a popular cartoon, but you may not know that Snoopy actually did go into space. The Charles Schultz Museum invited KCRA 3's Mike Carroll to the unveiling of a symbolic token that Snoopy recently took to the moon and back. They've sent it back to us in this sealed envelope. A sealed envelope that went around the moon, sent from NASA to the Charles M. Schultz Museum in Santa Rosa. It's a pouch. We've made a little pouch for it. And liftoff of Artemis 1. When NASA recently sent Artemis 1 on a test flight to the moon, they reached out to the Schultz Museum to take something of Charles Schultz on the mission. That's pretty amazing. That is. <laughs> this drawing point, or nib, made that nearly 1.4 million mile journey. For well over 50 years now, uh, Peanuts and NASA have been very closely linked. After the tragic fire in 1967, during a test of Apollo 1 that claimed the lives of the three astronauts inside, NASA needed to put a new face on the race to the moon. They turned to Charles Schultz. I want to honor the people that worked so hard, so we call it Snoopy. Even naming the lunar lander Snoopy and the Apollo crew capsule Charlie Brown. And the astronauts on the program chose the names themselves, so it meant that those characters meant something to them. Unlike some cartoonists, Charles Schultz did everything himself. His stories, drawing the characters, even doing his own lettering, using several different pens and pen points, the nib. Sparky loved this pen nib because he said, if you press a certain way, you get a certain line. And if you press a little harder, you get this nice, rich line. Choosing this particular nib, it was a, it was a special nib for him, the Estabrook Radio 914. It was the one that he, you know, when he found out they weren't making them, he bought them all out. What he said about the pen is that it could make these wide lines, and then it could do things like this. Also worth noting, while Artemis I was unmanned, it did have a crew member, the world's most famous beagle, Snoopy. They used a very special plush Snoopy in his own custom spacesuit. A spacesuit made out of the exact same material as the human crew will wear on the man flight to the moon. He was enormously proud of what his characters had become in the world and what they meant to people. At the Charles M. Schultz Museum in Santa Rosa, I'm Mike Carroll, KCRA 3 News. What an interesting Seriously. story there. This is wow. the centennial celebration, by the way, at the Charles Schultz Museum. The museum itself showcases the artist's life and work. And also, the Schultz Museum tells us that the Snoopy astronaut that went to the moon will ultimately have a home at the Schultz Museum, which is in Santa Rosa, by the way. Very fitting.